The standard kayak cart can get the job done, but I wanted something that was more stable and easy to attach or remove. That way I can rig my kayak for fishing at the car, roll it to the water and go. So I did some thinking and came up with this. So this is the first kayak cart that um, I put together and I basically took apart one of these generic kayak carts you can get at you know pretty much any sporting goods store. Uh, I took some eight inch long sections of the three quarter inch tubing and I just attached it with a couple of deck screws and one large stainless screw. A piece of wood it's just a one and a quarter by two inch hardwood. You can use a two by four. Uh, this thing's plenty sturdy. I can stand on it. I mean, it'll definitely flex some, but um, it, you know, it's not going to break. And um, I've, I've used, actually, I used this one. <laughs> Jeez, come on, man. Just break it down and fit it inside the top water. So pull these clips out right and get your wheels. I've used this car for quite a while and it's worked fine. One thing though is I wanted something that um, got the kayak a little bit higher up off the ground. And with this one, um, you can see sometimes if, if the kayak sits on it here, um, it's going to be a little, way too low. So I have these. When I have the black, okay, so when you bungees. pull on the black bungees, it's going to rotate that wood to the higher position. And then you're going to latch the bungees onto the sides of the kayak. And we'll see that later in the video. This cart works fine and it's easy to make. But I wanted something that you didn't have to worry about what position the axle was in. So this is what I came up with. Okay, so this cart, um, it's made out of half inch and three quarter inch um, EMT conduit. All combined, uh, it was $10 for conduit and that's two 10 foot sections. So um, really inexpensive and you can build a couple of these carts, make one, give it to a friend. So, and then the other thing is there's a little couple pieces of some one inch um, electrical PVC conduit here. All right, so the most expensive part of this was the tires. Um, these are 12 and a half inches. I wanted to get the kayak a little bit higher off the ground. It has one piece of half inch PVC conduit that runs the full length, 41 inches. Um, then it has another piece, piece of three quarter inch conduit, sits on top of that, right? I've got holes drilled here, and so um, I'm basically I will tie black bungee cords to these uh, straps right here, and then just like I'm, you know, any other kayak cart, it's got a little pin that you can remove. Shaft here is 41 inches long, but it's not going to slide inside the topwater PDO hatch. So what I did is I took a hacksaw. Cut this in half right in the center. And then this piece right here, which holds it together, it's just a piece of black uh, bungee material. And I drilled a hole in the bungee. I put this little screw inside the EMT, right? And then it just flies apart. Uh, here is a little cross section view. Uh, if you can see that. This here, it's an eight inch long uh, galvanized bolt. It's five eighth inch thick. Um, this, the threads are on this section and it's a pretty, you know, it's pretty snug fit. Um, slides right up inside that uh, piece of half inch EMT. And then this screw here, it's not a very long screw. Uh, what I did is I drilled through the EMT and a little bit of the ways in, into the bolt, maybe about an eighth of an inch. Anyway, so when I run the screw in there, um, it basically just acts as a set screw and it keeps, keeps that bolt from, you know, trying to slide out. So, anyhow, once you get it down to this point, you get the wheels, all these things, they'll all slide into the hatch of the uh, top water. And then going back together, this thing's a piece of cake. Just slides on, pop that on. All right, take the wheels.
But I made this wide enough that um, it should work fine with those balloon tires because I really made this so that it can also work with these. If I want, if I had to, want to, that those wider tires will also fit on there. I just have to take this little PVC spacer off and put a smaller one on. Super easy. You just take the screws out, pull it out, put a smaller PVC spacer in. Right? I'll have a on this right side here. I'll have a black bungee attached to that as well. Um, but that's what's going to hook onto the kayak, and so we'll get to that, and I'll show you exactly how it works mounting it up. Okay, so one thing about these wheels, and I will put a link to um, where you can get these down in the video description below. So if you buy these, they're going to come with um, a bearing inside. Actually, your bearing will be um, on, you know, on both sides. I've got this one pulled out, but uh, it's a half inch um, diameter bearing. Anyways. Um, I didn't want to use the bearing and you know the the shaft on this is roughly three quarters of an inch thick so um, these pulling these bearings out is super easy um, you just take a screwdriver and twist it this isn't a screwdriver but anyways anyways the bearing will just pop out right so you have that um, so this wheel is actually going to slide up over the top of this um, a little bit and I made just a little spacer so that will insert right in there all right and then I'm gonna put my pin in I don't really feel I need um, anything more but you're more than happy to if you want to figure out a little bushing that you can use or bearing go for it but uh, anyways that's the way I use it and I am going to do something though to affix that outer little bushing um, in place however just so I don't lose it when I take the wheel on and off. Just one less thing to keep track of. Here we go. I weigh about 200 pounds unless my wife is watching in which case I'm about 175. So here you can see how you attach the cart to the kayak. Make two bow line loops with some paracord and just screw it in where the rod holders attach. So getting the cart under the kayak is super simple and we're just going to walk through it here in the video. I already have one side attached. I usually leave it stowed like that when I'm transporting it. So it's just a matter of grabbing the handle, sliding it under, and then attaching that other S-beaner. Also, I like to lift up the back end just to let the wheels center a little bit, and then that's it. You're all set. Um, you can also do it with the kayak fully loaded. Attaching the cart while you're in the water is really a simple process as well. Also, one thing to remember is with the inflatable tires and the pool noodles, the whole cart floats. So sometimes I won't even break the cart down. I'll just leave it attached like it is and stick it over the back of the boat, and I'll fish that way. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope this helps someone out who's looking for an easy to build and stable cart that can be put together in about an hour or two. Links to the wheels and other comments can be viewed in the video description down below.